Hey guys, it's David here and in this video, it's a little bit of a more advanced video, but I want you to stay with me just for a few minutes because this is such an important concept that it's actually based on a question someone sent me. Um, Asia, if you're watching, this is based on your question. And it's based about, her question was around compassion, real compassion. Because I talk in my videos about how to get in touch with more of a compassionate mindset for yourself. And that goes for no matter what you're trying to do in life. If it's just compassion you're interested in, there is a compassionate voice you can get in touch with. But if it's to be more productive or to have a goal or whatever, compassion is your best weapon for that. It's your best tool. Compassion and weapon, that's probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's a useful tool. Compassion works. But here's the thing. Here's the kind of more advanced thing I want you to stay with me on. We have two mindsets that we can be in. One of them is unhelpful, it's very negative, very critical, and the other one is useful, it helps, it's compassionate. Night and day. You can only be in one of the two. It's really that simple. Now, the thing is, a lot of the time we find ourselves in this one, which is the critical voice. We focus a lot of our time here. This is what we hear throughout our day often. And we have all the, the negative feelings that come from giving our allegiance to this kind of mindset, okay? And that can be due to a, many different factors. Mainly it's down to our past and our conditioning that we're taught to kind of buy into this. And eventually we can drop it, right? But why is it so hard to drop? Why are we here so often and not in this compassionate mind? Well, the problem is fake compassion. It is such a key a key to unlocking all of this, right? Who in their right mind would actually pick this over this? Okay, it doesn't make sense that you would consciously go on, yep, I'm going to pick negative emotions for myself today. It's going to be great. I'm going to have a horrible day and my feelings are going to be all over the place. Right? Nobody would do that. Given the, the clear choice, everyone would pick this for themselves. Compassion. We're beginning to see here, I think, that because it's not such a clear choice. That's why we pick this. And it's because this mentality, whatever you want to call it, with this mindset realizes that you're not stupid. It has to sound nice some of the time in order for you to, to believe in it, to think it's useful, to think it will work. So how does it do that? Well, sometimes it uses kind of things that are appealing to us. One of the main things it does is it has you chasing a nice sounding persona. In other words, it's telling you that you're going to become a better person someday in the future. This is what this will tell you. All the while it reinforcing the fact that no, well, you're not that now. Compassion, on the other hand, looks very different. Compassion is, look, Right now, you are enough. Your starting point is self-acceptance. Right now, exactly the way you are, that's good enough for right now. Very different to this, which is always critical of the now, and it's holding out like a carrot for you to someday become this good thing. And that's sort of why it sounds appealing sometimes, like it's helpful to us, like it's encouraging us. Now, this, on the other hand, this is the thing I want you to realize. When, when, when the negative voice is promising you do these things, it will never get you there. Everything, every real change in your life starts off with accepting where I am right now, that's enough. Now, who I'm going to be next month, that's a different question. But I know where I start is enough. I am good enough. I'm going to accept myself exactly as I am. I'm not going to criticize myself right now. I'm just going to accept it fully and embrace it my situation in life, my feelings, my personality, anything. It comes from radical self-acceptance. That's what true compassion is. That's the difference. So I don't know, this is, is kind of like, it explains why we do feel attached to the negative so often. We think it holds some promise for us, when really it's leading us down a, 
a dead end. And it will never bring us to that place of someday we'll be this perfect person. Okay, nobody's interested in perfect over here. What we should be interested in is authentic, real. And it just happens that that's more loving too and uh, compassionate. So what we need to start doing is look, I'm going to drop this, this notion of chasing this persona, chasing this thing in life that I think other people will admire about me. Who am I trying to impress? You know, and funnily enough, it's that chasing that persona that because of that, it leads to all those negative feelings. Compassion is a way to just embrace all feelings. doesn't matter what they are, but there's no criticism involved in it. When you start to realize this, a lot of things become very clear. A lot of uh, past attempts to change and why they didn't work might become clearer when you realize, actually, I don't think I was that compassionate to myself that last time. That was kind of a fake compassion I was using. So that's um, fake compassion. Let's try and move away from the fake compassion into more radical self-acceptance. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.